Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning, the 24th of February, and we're going to continue in John chapter 3 this morning for our Lent readings. We are reading um, from verse 22 to the end. So let's read this together. Then Jesus and his disciples left Jerusalem and went into the Judean countryside. Jesus spent some time there with them, baptising people. At this time, John the Baptist was baptising at Ernon near Salem because there was plenty of water there and people kept coming to him for baptism. This was before John was thrown into prison. A debate broke out between John's disciples and a certain Jew over ceremonial cleansing. So John's disciples came to him and said, Rabbi, the man that you met on the other side of the river Jordan, the one you identified as the Messiah, is also baptising people. And everyone is going to him instead of coming to us. John replied, No one can receive anything unless God gives it from heaven. You yourselves know how plainly I told you. I am not the Messiah. I am only here to prepare the way for him. It is the bridegroom who marries the bride and the bridegroom's friends um, is simply glad to stand with him and to hear his voice. Therefore, I am filled with joy at his success. He must become greater and greater, and I must become less and less. He has come from above and is greater than anyone else. We are of the earth, and we speak of earthly things. But he has come from heaven and is greater than anyone else. He testifies about what he has seen and heard, but how few believe what he tells them. Anyone who accepts his testimony can affirm that God is true. For he is sent by God. He speaks God's words. For God gives him the spirit without limits. The father loves the son and has put everything into his hands. And anyone who believes in God's son has eternal life. Anyone who doesn't obey the son will never experience eternal life, but will remain under God's angry judgment. Amen. That's the end of John chapter 3. Again, for us, as we approach Lent, there are so many different things that we could pick out of that chapter. Um, let me pick out something which maybe is slightly different. There's an argument going on between John's disciples and it says a certain Jew um, or some Jews. And it's all about Jesus baptising and John baptising. And say everyone is going to him instead of coming to us. There's nearly a sense of rivalry going on there. There's a sense of oh, surely you should be coming to us, and not him. I, you were doing it first. You, you know that 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 sense of of competition amongst John's disciples, uh, and looking at what's happening with Jesus. And John replies, "No one can receive anything unless God gives it from heaven." And talking then about himself, how he must get less and, and Christ must become more and more. But it is that sense of rivalry, that sense of competition. Whereas whenever it comes to um, God's kingdom and to following God, it's about us working together. It's about realising that if you go to one church or the other, um, going to one church or the other doesn't make it more valid. It's, a, it's about that relationship which you have with God. And about relationship then together, which you nurture with God. And that we should be working together in that. So that more and more people hear the message of Lent, of Easter. The message of Christ coming to die on the cross. You know, we have a tradition within Northern Ireland, not a good tradition. Quite often of criticising one another when it comes to um, God's family, Christian circles. And saying that we are right and they're wrong. We're all wrong. None of us are right. We have all got sin in our lives. None of us is perfect. We can't judge and point fingers. What we should be doing is working together to see God's kingdom grow. That's what God wants us to do. God wants us to embrace the fact that, yes, we're all different. Sure, he made us all different. And um, yes, we, we have different ways of understanding things, even within our own church. You know, we have differences of opinion and, and doctrine and different things like that as well. But it's about realising what it's all about. 
that God made us, that our relationship was broken, that God sent Jesus to be our saviour and that we need to <clears throat> accept him and have faith and then tell others about that so they too may know that faith. So in our diversity, in our differences, may we be united through the family of God that together we would see us becoming less and less and see God's kingdom become more and more. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you again for another day that you have given to us. Another day whenever we can take time around your word to reflect. Another day whenever we go out and we live our lives. Another day whenever we can let others know how much you love them and care for them. Lord, help us to set aside those differences we have at times. The silly arguments and the quarrels. Yes, Lord, we, we may think differently in different things and that's okay. But help us to agree, Lord, on what matters. That people trust you. That people let you into their lives. That people accept you as Lord and Saviour. That people start that journey of faith with you. That they may grow in, in, in your family and grow closer to you. Lord, just help us this day to live for you. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Great to have all the names bouncing up onto the screen. Uh, I trust that today, again, that you would know God's presence and God's blessing. Please stay safe. See you again tomorrow. Bye.